Hello everybody, so this is going to be a quick instructional video describing and explaining the text set assignment for our EDSS 4115 class. So if you go to Canvas and you click Assignments and you click the Assignment Text Set, you'll get to this kind of content page that describes the assignment. And I want to walk you through my description, provide some examples, give you some clarification on what I'm expecting, and then I'll show you one of my own examples. That way you can kind of gauge on what I'm looking for. So essentially the purpose of this assignment, you're gonna be delivering a hypothetical unit of instruction. So you're a science teacher, math teacher, art teacher, you know, you're that teacher, and you're gonna go deliver a kind of unit of instruction on a certain topic, whether that's on a certain time period in history or a certain phenomenon in science or a certain historical period in art or a certain type of art in art, um, a specific sport or certain types of uh, kinesiology type of movements in, a, in PE and on and on and on or math you know a certain um, algorithm or you know set of ways of solving certain problems you're all thinking about this kind of topic unit of instruction that you're going to deliver and within that topic as we've talked about in this class you're going to use text in order to deliver that content and the text could be language based and the text could also be non-traditional language or non-traditional types of text like we've talked about in class, like a word problem in math or the body in PE or a piece of artwork uh, or some kind of phenomenon in science. And so you need to select at minimum four different texts. Now, the video and the audio should be pretty basic. Um, for some of you though, you do have to deliver language-based text in your instruction. And so you need to deliver written or provide a fictional-based written text as well as a non-fiction Based written text. Now I know for math and PE, um, potentially maybe even art, this might be a difficult assignment, at least for the fictional based text. Um, if you need some ideas, reach out to me. I don't want to try to take up too much time on this video giving you those examples. Um, just reach out to me and I can provide some. I might even make a list uh, just to give you some kind of an idea for that, at least that particular text. But I think the other ones you should have covered. So a nonfiction text that's language based a video text or a visual text that can be either fiction or nonfiction, and then an audio text that can be fiction or nonfiction. Um, and so you wanna have that and that will create that kind of multi-modality uh, that I'm talking about here. So for each of your texts, you're gonna submit a written description. The description is gonna kind of be twofold. How would you use this text to support content area learning, right? So I'm teaching this topic and so I'm gonna use this text to provide further content. Or I'm gonna use this text to um, develop some literacy skills. And so that would be the first purpose. The second purpose is the types of strategies that you would use to help students tackle that text. So how will you, what strategies will you use to help them develop academic vocabulary, uh, speaking and listening, reading comprehension, and, and any writing, subsequent writing that will come as a result of that text. And so you wanna make sure you include both, both the what's the purpose of the text, what kind of content, or how will this support content area instruction, and then B, what literacy-based instruction will I provide so they can tackle those texts? Um, and so you wanna describe that in the written description. The rubric's down here. So I'm gonna be assessing you on which text that you included, that you include at least four of those four that I talked about. And then specifically the literacy strategies and how those literacy strategies will support content area learning. And so that's what I wanna see in this. So as an example, this is obviously more English and I apologize for those of you that are not English, but I hope this gives you an idea. So my fiction-based written text would be this book, The Hate You Give, right? So it's a fictional account. And just so you know, my hypothetical unit is on social justice, specifically dealing with the injustice in the justice system in America. And so I would have them read The Hate You Give. Um, I would also, for my nonfiction text, have them read Just Mercy by Brian Stevenson. And again, down here, just showing you a written description. I know I didn't actually write my written description, but that's how it should be formatted, right? Here's the book, here's the description. Here's the book, here's the description. Um, my video visual text is about a man who committed what is called the murder felony or broke the murder felony law. Um, so essentially he was committing a crime and in the midst of that crime, somebody was killed, even though he didn't commit that murder or he was not tried for that murder, he was still charged for murder. And so that was a, a little video that I'd have students watch as well as an audio podcast called Serial, which is also about the injustice um, of our justice system, specifically towards people of color. And so these are texts that I would include in that unit. Under each of these texts, again, I just kind of copied and pasted my directions is where I'm gonna write my written description. I'm gonna talk about, hey, I'm gonna use this book. 
and some of the ideas, or I'm gonna use this text, and some of the ideas that will come from this text that will support continuity learning are, I want them to learn these ideas, these content-based ideas and principles. But then I'm gonna use you know, these strategies to bolster their vocabulary. I'm gonna make sure that they have these strategies to make sure they can read this kind of text. Um, I might incorporate some discussion and this is what I will do. And then there may be some subsequent writing and this is what that will be and how I will support that. And so you wanna describe that again in this paragraph. So I hope this is enough to give you at least a base to jump off of for your text set. Again, for PE, um, specifically for PE, for math, and for art, if you have some concerns about this fiction-based written text, uh, come see me and we can work through some of those things. Um, but I think that should be enough to get you going. And if you have any further questions, reach out to me.